what's up YouTube so my last video about Android Auto and watching videos in your car uh, a lot of you guys liked it and I found out about it from the guy from Instagram but it has since been patched Google worked really quick and it's not patched and you cannot work you cannot do it that way well you can still do it that way but if your phone has been updated like uh, the majority of our phones are it's not gonna work so if you're running Android Auto version 3.0 or later it's not gonna work and if and or if your Google Play services are ahead on version 12.5 then it's not gonna work you need to be behind version 12.5 so version 12.2 and below is what you need to be at and I'm gonna show you how to downgrade all that stuff and how to actually go ahead and get it back working and like before this video is for people who who want to watch YouTube videos in their car safely when you're sitting in your parked when you are waiting for somebody at a store when you're in the parking lot and say you, you don't know what you're doing but you're not driving I do not make these videos to show you how to watch videos in your car while you drive because that is irresponsible so I'm gonna go ahead and show you now I have my OnePlus 5T right here and that's what I always work with when it comes to these videos so let's go ahead and get to the video so like I said before if you haven't seen the other video you have to download the car stream app download the car stream app you head to the link in the description I don't have it pulled up right here you head to the link in the description I'll go ahead and, and pull up what the website looks like right here has a link in the description download the latest version it's version whatever it is version 1.8.3 download that version and then now since it's been patched you have to actually go to either apkpure.com or apkmirror I actually had the APK Pure app downloaded on my phone, so I'm going to use it that way. So what I'm going to do is actually uninstall Android Auto. I have the latest version of Android Auto here. I'm going to actually uninstall it. And then I'm going to open up APK Pure. Well, sometimes Nova is weird like that. Anyways, I'm going to open up APK Pure. Um, deny, I don't really like it doing that. Performance Improvement Plan. Skip, not really a fan of that right now. So I'm going to search for Android Auto. And if you do not have to actually download APK Pure, you can actually just go to the website link in the description. I'll take you directly to the Android Auto part of it. Or you can go to apkmirror.com. So here on APK Mirror, the app, you actually just kind of scroll down a little bit to version history. It'll show you all the APKs from the older versions. Version 2.9 and below. Version 2.9 and back. That's what you need to work with. 3.0 patches this, so you cannot actually do this method with 3.0 and above. So we're going to go ahead and install uh, version 2.9. 9, and I'll be back when it finishes installing. Okay, so as you can see here, Android Auto is right there in the system. So the next thing I need to do is actually downgrade my Google Play services. And now in order to downgrade Google Play services, you want to click on settings and you want to locate it by either by searching here at the top or uh, by finding it in this in the way, you know, the settings app works. My settings app is the older settings app because I am using a OnePlus 5T that's running Android 8.1-ish. Android 8.1 ish. If you if you know OnePlus, you know why I say Android 8.1 ish, and I spit all on my phone. Anyways, device administrators, is what you need to do: find your device administrators, get rid of your device administrators. That's how you're going to actually downgrade your Google Play services. For mine, it's find my device. For yours, it may be something different. I believe find my device is probably what it what it'll say. Now, go back into the settings. Why did I get out of it? Locate your apps boom apps right there go to your application list now you want to find google play services within the application list right there and then you want to click on the, the three dots here and click uninstall updates uninstall updates and it's going to uninstall the latest version of the google play services so now as i scroll down here my version is now 11.9 i didn't get a shot of it before but it was trust me it was version 12.5 the version that we don't want so now that everything has been downgraded, now that everything works, open up Android Auto. We're going to get started. I'm going to click, scroll down here and click continue. We're going to hit continue again. We're going to allow all this stuff because Android Auto wouldn't work without that stuff. Okay, so everything is set on up. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to click on the hamburger menu, click on about and enable my developer services by tapping on about Android 10 times, I believe is how you do it. Now developer settings are under the three dots menu. I'm going to scroll down and click on unknown sources. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and actually go ahead and exit all the way out of Android Auto. I did not exit out of it. Let's go ahead and exit out of Android Auto. And CarStream will now show up in the system. Let's plug the phone up and I'll show you. So this is what happened last time here. It says something went wrong, try again. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and back out of that. 
click continue and of course it works so that if that happens to you you just back out of it click continue and your android auto will start working now this is the older version of android auto and i can tell instantly because the navigation bar here at the bottom actually for whatever reason on the older version of android auto seems to be thicker it's like the icons are thicker uh, so we're gonna hit click got it because i know how it works then click here and of course car stream will now show up CarStream works in the same way it worked in the other video. I'm not going to really show you how CarStream works, but I'll just go ahead and show you that it does work by just playing a random video. And of course, when we're seeing a random video, it's not going to be random because Dashy is my favorite YouTuber. So we got to play a Dashy video. So the audio seems to be just slightly delayed right now. It... There we go. Now I had to pause back on it and it's working pretty well. So this is car stream, this is how car stream works. Now, here's the tricky part. And I got a new text message. So this is the tricky part. This is the part that I'm not 100% sure about and I wanna make this video and I want you guys to try it to let me know. Um, I am not sure how to actually get this to not update and ruin your experience. So, when you go to the Google Play Store, you can actually turn off auto update and you go to the settings here, I'm trying to do it really quickly. You go to the settings and, um, where is it at? Auto update apps. You can turn that off. You can, you know, change it right here. You can turn it all the way off. Now that will prevent Android Auto from automatically updating to the latest version, which wipes um, the, you being able to watch car stream, YouTube, in the car on the Android Auto system. However, that does not stop Google Play services from updating. So this is my hypothesis. On Android, if you go into your settings here, and I'm not too sure if you actually have your have your device administrator on or off for this because I have mine off at the moment. If you go into your settings and you click on apps and you go and locate all of your apps, right, you can actually disable the Google Play Store. Now I'm thinking if you disable, it says here, for, I'll just show you what it says. If you disable this app, other functions may no longer function, other apps may no longer function. Disable, uh, replace this app with a factory version, hit cancel. It will actually get rid of the app. Now the Google Play Store does not show up uh, here, as you can see, everything is in alphabetical order in the app drawer and Google Play Store is not there. So my thinking is that if you actually disable the Google Play Store, just like I did, you might stop Google Play services from updating. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Don't, don't quote me on it. Because, like I said earlier, if you do disable, if you do stop automatic app updates in the Google Play Store, Google Play services still automatically update. So I'm not too sure how that works because Google Play services does update from the Google Play Store, but it will automatically update no matter what, and that's the confusing part. However, also people have also said that you disable the Google Play Store, it will stop other apps from functioning correctly. Um, from my experience, just using it for the past, I don't know, a couple of hours that I disabled it and thought about this, everything still works. My Google Play Music still works. I can still listen to my jams. It's actually coming through the car's Bluetooth. That's why you can't hear it. But everything still works. And the Google Play Store on this phone is disabled. I'm going to go ahead and plug in Android Auto and show you that Android Auto will also still work with the Google Play Store disabled. So everything is still working. If I click on here, I can... Um, that's CarPlay. That's CarStream, excuse me. CarPlay. Uh, wrong system. Everything's working. So... I'm not too sure if this will actually work or not if you disable your Google Play, if you if you disable the Google Play Store. If you do it, let me know. Just like I said, I thought about this a couple of hours ago and I'm, I'm just not trying it out. So I'm not 100% sure on it. If you try it, let me know if your Google Play services still updates if you disable the Google Play Store. If you're wondering though, how do you go, go about with having no store and, and doing all your apps? There are other ways to do it. You can still download APK Pure. It keeps you right here and you, it'll manage all of your apps. It does not automatically update by default, but it does, it can automatically update in the settings. You know, all your apps are still right here. You can still, uh, you can still get updates from them. As you can see here, when I opened it up, it said that I had an update for Android Auto and a couple other apps. I can't bring that one down. But, so that's how you can still get your apps on here. Just do through APK Pure, not the Google Play Store. So that's the video. You can still get CarStream to work in your car as long as you're running older updates for your Google Play services and the Android Auto app. 
if you do try the Google Play Store disable, let me know what happens in the comment section. If you, uh, you know, you can listen, update, I will pin your comment so that everybody else can see it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Once again, this video is just for you to actually still enjoy watching YouTube on your Android Auto screen. I do not condone driving and watching YouTube because it, um, it driving and watching stuff on your screen in the front is actually legal in a lot of different places, and it's just irresponsible. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video and just to go ahead and show you since I didn't do it at the beginning of the video I am actually updating the Google Play services within the Google Play Store and I'll show you when I plug it back up I'm keeping everything the same even with the same version of Android Auto version 2.9 and it will not show up to watch car stream in the car Go ahead and plug this phone up to the car, and as you can see, everything's plugged up. I'm still running the older version because the icons here are a lot larger. And I'm the only one that just sees that these icons are larger. Maybe it's the center icon that's the largest, I'm not too sure. Anyways, I'm going to click on this, and CarPlay will not show up. Car Stream will not show up. If I say CarPlay in this video, and I have to, and I never noticed it, and I go back to edit this video, I'm going to be so pissed. Anyways, Car Stream will not show up. Car Stream only shows up here as a media thingy and um, that's not what we're looking for.